Shepard has improved massively lately with top navigation, mega menus, recently visit sites, favorite sites. Now you can also hide and show your navigation in your team sites. But Shepard is not very attractive when creating and managing image maps. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use an external tool fully embedded into SharePoint to create very advanced image maps and very immersive navigation experiences. Stay tuned. That's an example of an image map completely embedded into SharePoint experience running on SharePoint Online Modern sites. I will show you in this video how to find this app in the SharePoint App Store. Then we go through the installation steps, configuration. I will show you how the advanced uh, image maps builder looks like and how you can tune it, how you can configure it. And then we look how the end user experience looks like when you navigate through your image map. That's my SharePoint Modern team site. I'm going to add an app here. I will look directly into the SharePoint store and look for image map and also for image maps. Image maps, plural, is the builder tool, the builder app which we need and image map is the uh, web part. Okay, I already got it. It's already on my site. That's great. The image map app needs to be approved. So I'm writing a nice note to my SharePoint admin. Please be so kind and approve. So here it's getting into the request. I can see my requests, but then that's something which is known. So these are the, the requests. This is already approved by my SharePoint admin. And here I've got a pending purchase. As an admin, you will get an email and you can easily approve it by email, but there's also here the possibility to go into the SharePoint part into the app catalog and approve it here. So this app is already approved and this app needs an approval and that can, that can be done easily by here approving. We're now at our SharePoint Modern Team site. What we do is we create a new page and we would like to create an image map let's say for a country. I'm living in Germany, so let's pick Germany. And here I would like to add the image map and it's already here. Let's see what we can do by clicking on the editing of the web part. I'm going to create a new one and here I would like to have a image map for a country and here I'm choosing Germany. I'm going to call this Germany. Okay, here we are. That's Germany. Here I can start to set image map tooltips. So for example, I'm living here in Hessen and I would like to add a tooltip for my hometown. Here we are, that's easy. And now I would like to add an element and here I would like to add a YouTube video, which I've just created. And for this YouTube video, I need a few settings. First of all, I'm going to pick the URL of this video. Okay, let's cruise around and find so very interesting stories video. about the history do right of my hometown. Is let's jump into my car. On share. Click here okay, on bed because this gives me the iframe which I need. So and I'm directly clicking here the iframe content into it. And that's exactly the way how I can get my image map. So that's my video. Here I need to make sure in the settings that this tooltip is enabled, but I would like to click on it. That's the way how, how I would like to have it. I would like to hover over it with my mouse and then clicking on it and then the YouTube video starts. That's very important. And now I can directly go and save the video 
and go back to my SharePoint page because now it should be able to find it. Here we are. I just publish it, I cl click on the image map name, wait a few seconds, content is loading, here is my country, here I can also share it by email, Yammer, send as a page template or add page to navigation, post as news on the site, very nice help. And that's my country and here's my video and I can click it. Okay, let's cruise that's around and find very interesting stories about the history let me show you now the most important features and capabilities of this image map software by using a default image map by the company uh, Cyrosoft who built this tool. And here we go into the site contents where we find our image maps builder, the app. You can also see links to support, FAQs, user guide, and examples. And here I'm going to open the image map builder. You've just seen how to embed a video, which is using YouTube. And now I'd like to show you how you can add an image. Uh, well, let's take here this, this camera to embed images. I will go here into the tooltip content and you click on elements and you, here you can add an image and drag it directly into it. The, okay, here's my second picture. I'm going to add a <laughs> photo of myself by just pasting it. I can also link it and here if I want to more specification into the reference I can also specify it here open a new window yes or no deeper more configurations of the layout can be set here the amount of columns and the box model style like background color I can choose also going deeper into the border style border shadow and here border opacity and border radius general settings which are relevant if you have an, an existing CSS style sheet where you can specify the classes here and here this is too much I'm going to delete the first picture that's enough for my case you can also have very advanced configuration when clicking on the position for example here I want to get deeper into the configuration of my picture then I can also have actions like I could here not only use an, an HTTP link, but also run a script. That's very fancy. I have, I have different ways to define an icon, how it should look like. I can style based on a, on a library, custom library style, default style of an icon, and more in regarding of mouse over and more tooltips spots. I'm working with mind maps since 1995, so I love mind maps. I'm using MindMeister here every day. And one of the things which look beautiful is a new way how you can choose different designs. Ocean, color burst, sunset, vintage, bubbles, pastel, aquarelle, spring, nostalgia and cubicle, plus all the different ways in dark mode. So let's find out how I can create an image map based on this mind maps. In Teams, there's a dedicated app for MindMeister, but here for SharePoint, I need to export it. I just click here on export and need to make sure that I'm exporting a picture. Back into my SharePoint list, here is the library for pictures. That's the place where I'm going to upload my mind map. Now we can go back into the builder app. Create a new image map call it SharePoint Roadmap, choose the right library and the right roadmap picture. Here we are and now this is the perfect time to do exactly what we've just shown you, painting the right rectangles or circles, ellipses, whatever you need. And then click on it and pick the right tooltip as I mentioned paragraphs, headings, images, videos, YouTube, or buttons. Hope you found this useful. If you want to learn more, just go to your SharePoint store and search for image maps, an image map, and then you get a trial. And otherwise you just go to sharepointimagemaps.com. Please let me know in the comments if you have more questions, happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.